In email, there is a kind of classic decision pattern that you need to match in order to synchronize with the thoughts. So let's look at a very helpful diagram. I want to show you that in this simple email, there is a strategy. And that strategy is designed to match the decision pattern of the recipient. The first key is to capture their attention. Now capturing their attention is vital because this is a person who is being fractured by the enormous amount of information coming to them through their inbox, across their browser, from their peers, and then overlayer in that uh, same world of intense information overload are the demands of their superiors, their deadlines, and even issues in their personal life. You are competing with all of that. Think of it as noise. And somehow your voice has to be heard. So what we have done is we've used the first section of the email to synchronize with your decision pattern. And we know the first thing we have to do is to capture your attention. There's another key uh, uh, component here, and that's we have to convince you. Now be careful. All we need to convince you is that a click is worth your time. We aren't convincing you to buy something because we can't do it effectively in an email in most cases. We're not convincing you to make a prolonged decision, to provide us with uh, much information, to join up, sign up, register. We just need to convince you that it's worth a click. And sometimes we do that by telling you less rather than telling you more. When the goal is very clear, when the objective is to convince, and you know what you are trying to convince the other party to do, often you can reduce much of the noise in your email and simply give them a strong enough reason to click forward to get the information they need. Brings me to the third key, and that is the close. In this case, there's a call to action, there's a signature, and there's a powerful postscript. Do not underestimate the power of a postscript even in an email. In direct mail, those of you that have experience know that a postscript is one of the most powerful ways to summarize the key part of your message. In this particular case, this sequential thought from capture to convince to essentially get them to act is, uh, is classic. And you might say to yourself, yeah, but that's so, so predictable. Uh, Aristotle wrote poetics uh, thousands of years ago, and yet the same pattern the three-act approach and the two-act approach and the five-act approach for hundreds of years has been, has been woven into the way you tell effective story. People don't change that much. This pattern is uh, integral to the cognitive psychology of human nature.